Hi guys, in today's tutorial we're going to show you how to install and configure the Blanco Auditing Tool Erasure Integration. You're going to start off by going to System Settings. Now in the System Settings you're going to click on Audit Tools. So you're going to move over to the Blanco tab and hit Add. Now this is where you're going to configure the instance name. So this is going to be your name of the integration. So you can call it whatever you want. You know, if you have multiple locations, you might want to call Blanco-Warehouse1, Warehouse2. Um, for the URL, you typically would use the uh, cloud.blanco.com. Now what we're going to do is we're going to configure in um, a username and password. So you need to ensure you have a username and password set uh, from your Blanco management console. So you need to ensure that user has API role privileges and you know you need to ensure it's working. Once done we're going to select uh, set up the UID. So these are pretty typical um, configurations here. Now for the days limit um, that's going to set how many days of reports it's going to pull back. So if you only want to start pretty much from a fresh uh, instance you could say okay do 15 days once you're done you're gonna click save after you save the integration you're gonna see a status and you'll see if it's okay or if it errors out if you have this okay and you can see reports being pulled in and last report date that means everything was successful now you're gonna move over to the uh, common fields so for uh, the common fields we're gonna use some of the uh, standard uh, razor asset field mappings you're gonna start out with asset tag uh, chassis type you don't need to map it looks like for custom field one we'll probably use UID and what that's gonna allow you to do is if you add a custom field in Blanco which is recommended if you scan the UID from Razor into Blanco um, that will automatically synchronize the asset and update the attributes if that UID is matched in Razor so typically you want to create a UID from a lot um, assign that sticker to a asset then go into Blanco and scan the UID in the custom field and that would automate the synchronization back to Razor which is recommended now we're gonna move over and uh, configure the rest of the fields here so you should follow exactly what I'm doing from the uh, common fields which is pretty standard Now, after that's done, uh, what I would recommend doing is going to the bottom and saving this. So when you refresh the page, there isn't an issue. Now, under services, uh, if there's services that you guys are using in Blanco, uh, you probably want to uh, either add the services directly into Razor that match the naming convention, or you could just uh, set them as data erasure or you know use what's uh, already added into your Razor instance. Now next step save that and we're gonna switch over to a razor to Blanco view so what that means is is essentially we're gonna be looking at the razor fields on the left hand side and on the right hand side will be the fields that are mapped to Blanco now in order to set this up properly we need to move down to the attribute section and we are going to go and start setting up the various attribute sets that you've configured in Razor. Now over here we have desktops. So for desktops you want to map that to desktop and you're going to start moving down and you want to assign what Blanco has directly to what you have in Razor. So we're going to do a CPU type. We'll map that to uh, CPU type. CPU threads. Uh, you could check here if that's available. If some items aren't available and you see them in the Blanco reporting, we could definitely uh, add those additional mappings.
So you could go through each of these fields and uh, map what's available. And once you're complete, you're going to save that. Now for each of the attribute sets that you're using the Blanco integration for, you are going to want to map. So for laptops, we're going to set it to the laptops uh, attribute set here and you then begin setting up the, uh, the mappings that you require. Now once complete, again remember to save, and this is going to allow you to import those products directly into Razor. So that's how you set up the Blanco integration, and once that's complete, you'll then be able to go into your uh, inventory section of the application and begin the audit and import items directly in from Blanco. So you can see here, I'm going to open up an audit and what we're going to do is we're going to import in. So we'll go to actions, import. Then over here, you can see the different assets that are being audited. So what I'll do is uh, we'll select one of these just to test and hit import. And that should pull in and you'll see the asset gets created and the various items that we configured and set up have now been pulled in appropriately and you can see a lot of the data value points are normalized and showing up nicely.